Eric Speed Exposure back for another video and today I'm going to show you the, one of the best moto blog setups for a helmet and uh, I'm looking at it right now I got it laid across the whole table right here and uh, yeah let's hop on it okay I figured I'd show you my helmet first and uh, I've got the G Max and it's DOT and snail rated and um, yeah, I had to get this white helmet with the black pinstripes. It's the best white looking helmet out there. And uh, yes, yeah, it's got pinstripes all around it. And uh, it's got a couple vents up here. Open and close. It's got one on each side. It's got two breathe holes here. And then as you make your way around, you got the vent hole up here got two here and it's got like this little flapper piece but I've got to work on it a little bit to stuff it back down in there but yeah it's super comfortable this is the best one of the best helmets I've ever had and I've had like three or four helmets alrighty here's the full setup for the helmet and uh, first you need a GoPro, uh, I got the 8, uh, the 9 is actually better, but I'm going to have to save for it. Okay, so you get your GoPro 8 or 9, and then you get your media mod, that's the next step. And it's going to have these uh, ports on the back. It's got, you put your mic adapter in here, it's got the charger. And then some kind of other adapter that I don't use. And, uh, okay, so your next thing you need to get is, a. Uh, I bought this certain mic because I couldn't get the purple panda to work. I don't know if I got a bad mic or what. And then, uh, with that mic, you're gonna have to get a road adapter. And this hooks into the media mod instead of having that really big adapter that GoPro sells and instead of using that big adapter I bought this little wire because it's not ugly and you can hide it really good and it gives you a clean helmet vlog setup and then after that if you don't want to mess your helmet up with sticky stuff on the front like everybody else does I just went ahead and bought me a uh, chin strap. It hooks straight to your helmet, goes around, hooks on the inside. And it's got this little J bracket on here. That's another reason why I wanted it. Where it's already got the J already built onto the strap. It makes it easy for the GoPro to adjust and see the handlebars in the road perfectly almost. And uh, if that didn't work, you could probably hook a little adapter to this and bring the GoPro out a little bit farther. But yeah, I'll put it together and uh, I'll show you what I'm working with. But I think this is one of the best setups you can get right now for the actual helmet. Alrighty, let's, uh, let's assemble this real quick and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and hook the chin strap on. And uh, yeah, it's just got two at the top here, two at the bottom. It just wraps around on the inside right here. It goes over your front vent a little bit, but it still gets air, I would imagine. And uh, it's a little hard to put on. It's not too bad. That's what it looks like right there. I think it's, it just bends this up a little bit, but 
You can stuff it back down in there after you adjust it. All right, so after this, you can stuff these wires in the cheek pad. Okay, the next step we can do, uh, we can go ahead and put the mic in. I don't even have to take the cheek pads out. Okay, so this little plastic piece that's already hooked on there, I use this and attach it to the bottom. And it hooks right there in the front. Which is really good. And then with all the extra, I stuff it in one of the sides. Actually, I'll show you what I do. I twirl it up. Like this. And then I just stuff it in. All the extra access. You can't feel it when you actually have the helmet on. But it just tucks it away so it won't fly out. And then what it looks like so far so after you get that stuffed in there we can go ahead and uh, get the GoPro ready alright so to put this media mod on you gotta take the uh, case off where the battery goes and it just pops off it doesn't break it or anything and then uh, yeah you gotta line it up with your little charger port to go in there all right then you close the case all right and then after that you grab your little adapter and you hook it right here and this GoPro the 8 and 9 they have little flip out legs at the very bottom and then uh, yeah you can just hook her straight on. Where I think still new, I gotta expand it with my fingers to get it over on it. That little J bracket chin strap thing. Alright, and then you can start to tighten her down. Alright, then after that you can hook her in to the wire in the helmet. Then see where that J bracket is? Brings it up perfectly. And then I finish stuffing the excess. And instead of having that big ugly adapter, you got this little thing, this little wire that goes up under here, which is the road adapter, and then get you a little piece of tape, and you can tape it right here. I got black electrical tape. So you can't see it as bad. And then there's the full setup. Uh, you don't mess your helmet up by getting sticky stuff on it. You got your mic right here if you want to pop this open. And you can put one of them fuzzy things over your mic so you don't actually get any wind noise on it. Which is uh, it's not a bad idea. But I hardly ever flip this open unless I'm at it like a stop sign or stop light or something like that. Yeah, I think that's one of the easiest setups you could actually do. Okay, I almost forgot to tell you. The GoPro 
with its original casing on it to cover the battery makes it waterproof but the media mod when you plug it in it is no longer waterproof so if you get stuck in the rain it could possibly mess it up and uh okay figured i'd just let you know that and i'm gonna go ahead and put this helmet on and uh let you hear the mic on the inside of the helmet All right, guys, I'm putting the helmet on. All righty, can you hear me now? Hello, testing, testing, one, two, three. One, two, three. But yeah, this ain't bad. I'll take you outside. And uh, let you look out here while I talk a little bit. Let you know if you like it or not. But yeah, I mowed the grass today. And uh, yeah, this might be the last time I cut it for the winter time. I live in uh, Virginia. And uh, it looks really good. I mowed mine short like a golf course. Alright, I'm closing the visor. Alrighty, you should be able to hear me even better with the visor closed. And uh, where I have the mic up near the, uh, near the actual visor, it keeps the wind from underneath my helmet to where it has no wind noise, which is really good. And you also get all the air that you want underneath. Well, it sounds like somebody's shooting a gun in the distance getting ready for rifle season, I guess. If y'all would like, uh, I can also do a hunting video one day. Just depends what you want to see. Leave down in the comments.